Hi everyone, so I'm back to share a journal with you and um, this one is it's for a swap that I'm doing with Sam who is the Scottish crafter here on uh, YouTube and it took me a while to get this completed because I've been ill and oh, then the weekends and um, you know grandkids and stuff like that so uh, finally finished it and I'm happy how it turned out I hope Sam likes it um, I'm going to give you all the measurements for it anyway so it is a, a nice big thick chunky one and um, it measures eight inches by five three inch spine three signatures and uh, 120 pages, I think, front and back. Um, so we had decided to do a bee-themed journal, obviously. And I just need to make sure that I am in frame here. Okay. Um, so um, I've actually received Sam's and I haven't opened it yet because uh, I'm going to do that um, in a video. Uh, or on a video, one of the two. So, um, right, the cover here is a um, an embossed wallpaper which has been gessoed and sprayed and inked and, oh, it's a coffee on it and you name it, everything. And it's come out this kind of golden yellowy colour. And the front here is just a simple topper and I cannot remember where I got this kit from. It was one I bought the other week. I'm just going to click on it to see if it actually says who, no, it doesn't i got it on etsy um and i'm really sorry but if anyone does want to know where it is i can um i can backtrack and try and find it for you and give you a link later on so um this is one of the full page images but i shrunk it down um and it's got queen bee and i've stitched all around and the pa the cardstock is on the back there has i've been spraying all my papers let me see a little bit of it there with like coffee coffee and yellow and gold and stuff so that's that not that you can see it now anyway um it's all been stitched i think i used um i don't know what i used now because i started this a couple of weeks ago um I don't know if this was a cereal box or not. I think it might have been a cereal box. Who knows? I can't remember. Eyelets and a string as a closure. And that is that view. Okay, so it is um, moderately decorated and there's still loads of journal room and still things, for, you know, space for Sam to do things in if she wishes. Because um, I don't know what type of journaler she is. Um, so yeah, so on the inside, now I couldn't tell you if that was paper, because like I said, I started this about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. I can't remember if I've put on book pages and gessoed it or anything, I really can't remember. So there you go, a mystery now. <laughs> um, but that's all been sprayed and it's got yellow and uh, oh, it's been gessoed and coffee and yellow sprays and gold sprays. So this is from that kit that I can't remember who made it. And I've also used Artie Maze and I've also used my porch prints in this as well. So let's do the flip through. Uh, we've got a little pocket there. I used one of the pages from that kit um, and made some pockets and stuff. And this pocket come from it as well. This is just a little tiny envelope. There's nothing in it. So Sam, you can pop a little secret note in there or something. <laughs> uh, little tag. Little um, journal card there. And then in here we have, these are all from Artie Mays, from her bee collection. And that all just goes in there. So it's a double tuck. That's just been sprayed with tea or coffee dyed uh, solution. That's just cardstock, again, with all them sprays on it. And then I just done the honeycomb stenciling over that. So there is a lot of shimmer in this as well. Some crocheted trim. Here is... Uh, that's an envelope and there's so much shimmer on that, it's unbelievable. <laughs> we got a tag in here and it's got like the honeycomb, it looks like all the honey's running down there. So that's a double pocket, so it's open there and there because it's a, actually it's a triple pocket. These have been beeswaxed, so i done that. A little bit of trim there. Uh, that is from that kit that I can't remember what it's called or where, where I got it from. Um, and I shrunk that down to make some journal tags. So that goes in there. And this is from Artie Mace. Uh, and like I said, that's been beeswaxed as well. I love the feeling of that. It's really nice. Uh, journal room. Here is a little one. 
two, three, four pockets there. You've got a pocket there, pocket in there, pocket there, and you can tuck stuff inside there as well. So we have this tag, and obviously, you know, you can tuck things in behind there. This journal card from that kit that I can't remember. And this is from Artie Mays. And I think this is from my porch prints. That's from the kit that I can't remember. And that is one of the pockets from that kit as well. Just made, I think there's a couple of little notebooks in there. Just used some cream cardstock and some images from Artie Mays. That goes in there. We have this from my porch prints. And this is from the kid with no name. <laughs> really annoying me now. Um, the old design shop. Uh, use some of the uh, journal pages to make some pockets. So that's one of them. Then you could do journaling on there. This is a big coffee dyed tag with all the spraying on there. A bit wacky. Um, some more coffee dyed papers. So like I said, there is plenty of journal room here we've got a top tuck you get these with that kit that i can't remember the name of so is this uh from that kit this is from my porch prints i should have looked that up actually before i've done the video this is just an envelope there's nothing inside it and you can pop things inside there this has been beeswaxed as well and i think that's from the the kit with no name Oh, little tag there. I meant to put, I went through it and um, put in little tabs on. So I'm going to do that now, put a tab on that because that just looks a little bit odd without a tab on there. <clears throat> uh, running out of this stuff. And the last time I went to the range, they didn't have any. And I looked on Amazon. And I normally pay about 3 99 I think it is. Amazon won £8 for it at the moment. So they can go fly a kite <laughs> I'll find something else I'm not paying not when I know I can get that for under four pounds I'm not paying like 7.99 for it so the, anyway this is from Artie Mays I just made a little like stopper pocket there and this flips out so you can journal one there that's a big old postcard it's one of the journaling cards and I stuck that down so you can journal one there we have an envelope Artie Mays and it's just got some coffee dyed paper inside there and that's all been sprayed as well with the yellow and the gold. I just thought it went well with um, you know the colours of all these kits that I've used. And little tab there. This is a pocket that flips up stenciled on there. It's a bit dark but it is what it is now. Um, little like label there as a stopper inside there we have a tag from Artie Mace and that's just like a little tiny mini bookmark that was a bit left over it's got the sunflowers on there and that is from my porch prints it's really pretty and second signature we've got this I think is my porch prints and then we have a tag and a postcard from Artie Mace and that is Artie Mays as well. Uh, another like envelope stenciling all the gold shimmer on there. Well, we have journal cards there. I don't think they're all from. Oh, that's not our Artie Mays. That's from the kit. I can't remember. And I think that might be my porch prints. And in there, we just have another one of these, which is like a honeycomb background paper and that's open there and there so you've got one two three pockets on there a little bit of lace trim here another beeswaxed circle from one of the kits here we just have a pocket that's Artie Maze one of the pages and I just chopped it up this is Artie Maze as well I think that's from the kit that we've got no name for and Artie Maze double pockets here um, used one of the pages from that kit with no name and put a big tag in there I think there's about three of these big chunky ones in there so that goes in the back of there and 
you know what i think i got my light on the wrong color but hey ho uh and then this postcard i just put on there to make like a double pocket this is from my porch prints the kit with no name that's the kit with no name as well <laughs> um, like i said if anyone wants to know what it is i will go look it up but i'm not going to do that right this precise moment um sprayed yeah this was obviously copy paper and i sprayed it i didn't like dunk it into uh, the coffee or tea or whatever it was where is that's all been brushed onto little side tuck there two journal cards they're both from Artie Mays a uh, little wax piece and I think glued that down I don't know why I'm holding my breath <laughs> scared in case I rip it uh, that's been beeswaxed and a little flip there pocket here with some cheesecloth and this is from my porch prints I think uh, they're both Artie Mays I like that because it looks like he's taking the um, the ladybug for a walk. <laughs> um, little envelope here, and that's got a journal card that matches that. That is from Artie Mays. And another postcard pocket here. And we have a tag journal card and another journal card them papers are really nice aren't they um third signature that's one of these again postcard inside there that looks more like a wasp than not a bee but hey ho is what it is <laughs> bee there I don't know if, it kind of looks like a wasp to me but hey ho um journal uh, tag from Artie Mays Artie Mays and a kit with no name another envelope this has been beeswaxed as well and I just put some of that cheesecloth on there because it just kind of flowed with the colour um, stenciled tag with a honeycomb effect on there and another tag I think that was one of the pages from that kit when I, like, I can't remember the name of uh, my porch prints and Artie Mays this has been beeswaxed top tuck here um, I love them like hexagon shapes little journal card there and there another long tag in that pocket isn't that pretty and that goes in there it's got some crocheted trim on that a tab here more journaling space envelope there's just some coffee dyed paper in the envelope um like the other one i'm gonna take it out another one of these i did do a video on this it's on my let's play let's play why is my playlist um so easy to do it wasn't my idea but i was just showing you how to do it that's opened there as well and that goes in there and then here we just have some little pieces of ephemera it's artie maze my porch prints and that kit this is my porch prints as well <clears throat> little flip there it there that's been beeswaxed uh, this is another little booklet some additional oh didn't put big tag in there okay we'll deal with that um, my porch prints do you know when I looked through that twice as well to see if I'd put tags in everything um, oops corner tuck there little label with i love that it's so sweet um little mini tag little envelope there's nothing in the envelope but I can pop something inside there and that is from my porch prints and inside there we just have 
a tag from Artie Mays with a little bee there. And this is my porch prints, Artie Mays. I'm not sure I could say in there, but it's not gonna. <laughs> and then this here from that kit. And that is the back. So that is the journal. I hope Sam likes it. I've enjoyed making it. Just took me ages to do it. Um, because I have to, I was working on other stuff as well as being ill. <laughs> well, I'm not really ill, ill, I was just coughing a lot. So, yeah, there we go. I love that wallpaper. I might actually just, you know, go and buy a whole roll of it because I do use it a lot. And it's great when you can just, um, you know, gesso it and spray it because then you can, you know, you can have it any colour you like. So, yeah, there we go. Um, if you're looking for ideas, I have my like I said, my playlist of Let's Make, um, you'll find that below. And um, yeah, so there we go. So I will speak to you all soon. Bye.